they are new member that want to know. Now, China, um, Hong Kong market was having a crisis, I think, for the past two years. Reason is because that it was triggered by this uh, China property uh, crisis, conflict between China and US, and trade war between US and China, IPO restrictions in US, and stock was facing delisting in US. All right. So it's a year one tea ho bao zi zhe xiang gang gu si hai yu zhe zhong guo gu si um jing lu zhe uh wei ji la oh um another reason is because um US high interest rate all right usually usually will affect the uh, what we call that Hong Kong market to sell down this is based on the historical data and also a strong US currency all right people will sell. Um, their home country currency and then to buy US dollar and of course when they have US dollar they will buy US stock market so that's why the US stock market is moving up okay especially um, you know since November until now so I just want to show you the fact is that Hong Kong market is very cheap in terms of the PE ratio so Xiang Gang Si Chang Hong Xinzai Si 很便宜如果跟这个 P E ratio 相比的话，美国的 P E ratio 是二十四，呃，印度是二十三，然后日本是二十，呃，只有这个香港气，所以是非常便宜。All Jusi 然后他们才给这个股息 So my intention to show you the stock here is not for you to buy for a dividend Don't get me wrong, alright? I just want to show you that this company are making money and then they're willing to pay a very high dividend to their shareholder So it's to answer the people who are asking me whether the Hong Kong market is going to go bankrupt, I say no. They are good company, is still around. And then I just want to show them these are the good company that giving a very good dividend. All right. So that is the whole point. All right. But look on the Kanesia Gurku, you can come down, um, Biuso, Jui Chu Ming, the lap, oh, Maker and Dotonga, oh, Zong Guo Ying Hang, Bank of China. So far, the dividend is 8.8。是属于非常高了。如果你是跟新加坡相比的话。还有哪一些？ICBC也是银行。它给的是差不多8.89。所以它的价格其实是不贵。哦，三块八港币，两块九港币。Alright, so this is just to show you that um there are some company listed in Hong Kong is making good. So therefore, they are willing to pay a dividend to their shareholder. But I'm not, you know, saying that you are buying this stock for a dividend. Sum. No, huh? I just want to show you they are a good company listed in the Hong Kong market. So um, will the China uh, Hong Kong rebound? Well, I believe, all right, I think those of you who are experienced, whatever, you know, sell down, eventually they will have to um, rebound, all right. So they are a series of a uh, series of a uh, rescue package from the China government, sign of a fund flow, and followed by China government currently are paying a very serious attentions to the stock market. So when will the Hong Kong market, you know, really rebound? I believe when the U.S. government begin to cut cut the interest rate. I believe the Hong Kong market will begin to rebound all right so that is my view oh? that's the most important part and i will show you some of the 
呃 rescue package， all right。所以在这样的情况之下，很多人就问我：“哎，呃，几时会涨呢？”这样的话，我相信有可能是，嗯，美国降息的时候，有可能会，嗯，导致这个，嗯，香港股市啊、嗯、反弹了哦。因为，嗯，到目前为止来说，嗯，这个美联储还没有，呃，降息。虽然昨天他们有有一个会议，哦，他们决定。就是会维持这个利率啦，哦，就是五点五八先，嗯，而且他们也是有报告显示说，他们会，嗯，在年尾的时候降息，哈，降息，年尾的时候降息，所以在这样的情况之下，如果一旦美国降息的话，有可能会帮助到这个港股啦，哦。So there are many, um, you know, rescue package. Um, I don't, I don't want to go through every every one of them, but I just want to, uh, point out a few things. Like for example, the national team, are、uh, buying the share. So who is the national team? National team mean mean that is the state fund, lah. No, I think every country have their own state fund. So they will use their state fund to buy the share in the China market. And currently, they only spend around thirteen billion, all right, to buy the share. But I think thirty bill, thirteen billion, is not much, lah. Okay, but it also not small, all right. I believe they are going to increase that amount, and they also restrict the sales. That means they ban the short sell. So initially, Hong Kong and China market they allow short sell, but this short sell is only available to market maker or institutions. So the retail investor have no chance to um short short sell, and therefore the retail investor are losing money in the Hong Kong market. And with that restricting, okay, the short sell, I believe it will help the Hong Kong market to recover, okay. So this is a very um important statement, right? So if you still remember um, I think my previous free webinar I did share with you. There are a lot of a negative perception about the Hong Kong market and the China market. Okay, they call it deficit. Uh, what we call that deficit gap, is it? Right or perception perception gap or perception uh deficit. Okay, so if They don't come out if the government of China they don't come out and explain to the investor, then of course it will be very difficult for the investor to invest in China and Hong Kong. But you can see that this rescue package right was announced in February, right this year February. So that means what 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 does that mean? That means ah,、uh, they do listen to other people, okay. And they come out with this, um, you know, package, and then they explain to everyone. So this should be the way, lah. Oh,、huh? if they want to get back the investor to invest in their own country. So I think this is a very positive sign. And U.S. market, okay, 美国市场的话，当然美国市场越跑越高 ，okay. So 特朗普，嗯，今年会选举，很多人就讲特朗普肯定会赢 ，all right. But 关键的是什么呢？关键是 they are a what we call that historical data show that um since ninety sixty until twenty、uh, twenty there were sixteen pres presidential election and only two okay in year two thousand and two thousand eight the market was crashed down not because of the election is because of the dot com bubble and the financial crisis. So if we based on this historical data, this year presidential election, okay, will actually consider the best year for the stock market. All right, so that means the bull run will continue lah in this year. But however, you have to understand, market sometimes need to rest also. They might you know go into corrections or pullback. So you have to be careful lah. Okay, um. Federal Reserve cut rate market will cap crash. All right, so this is to show you that unlikely market will crash if the Federal Reserve cut the rate, because if you look at nineteen ninety one, when the Federal Reserve cut the rate, right, 
this is the interest rate. All right, the stock market is actually moving up. Okay, until 2000, this is stock. All right, so what does that mean is that if let's say, right, if they begin to cut rate at the end of the year, if they begin to cut rate at the end of the year, right? So this is the rate maybe to 2%. I don't know. I just guess, right? So I think the stock will continue to moving up based on the historical data. All right. So it's like the year 1991 might be repeat. Okay. And if you look at year 2000, 如果你是看2000年, bubble. So because of the dot-com bubble, they reduce the rate. Okay, they cut down the rate. 2008, financial crisis, they also cut down the rate. Not because, okay, not because they cut down the rate and then cause the financial crisis. No, uh, okay, it's because the Financial crisis happened first, then they cut the rate. All right, so this is a two different thing. Um, this is to recap, okay, um, to show you that how I use historical data to prove it to you, okay, um, how the market supposed to be moved. All right, so you sometimes这个历史性数据哈不容易，嗯，就是说重复，但有时候哈它会很惊讶的显示。所以我们不要相信也不可以。就比如说, in this is 19 October, okay, 19 October, uh, sorry, October 2022, October 2022, right? So market before that, market was very bearish. So this was um 2001 to 2002, right? Market was really, really bearish. But after that, it began to rebound. Right? This was October 2022-2024, right? So basically this point, is actually come from this point. Right? And during that time, I did share with you, okay, if you still follow me, right? Rebound in October, okay? Rebound in October. So this is the October whereby the stock market begin to rebound. So all this based on the historical data, Right, so that means um, I hope that I add value to you, and therefore, during that time, I managed to buy um, NVIDIA, Meta, Google, Microsoft at a very cheap price. Okay, I believe some of you do buy, but um, but uh, what I mean is that maybe most of the people they don't buy, right? So that is why, um, if you can come back every week, okay, I can show you. Um, some of the data and then you can make your own decision that would be you know fantastic right now okay so do you learn something new today if you learn something new today type eight please 如果你今天有学到东西的话打八号一下打八号一下 right so let me move on okay so this is a money market fund, okay? And the sources is actually come from the Federal Reserve, huh? okay? So that means the data is quite accurate, right? So the US money market fund um, reach 5.7 trillion, okay? That means they are a lot, okay? So what is the point um, I share this with you, all right? That means uh, there are a lot of cash uh, haven't flow into the stock market yet. 
So when will this money flow into the stock market? Okay, the money will flow into this stock market when when the Federal Reserve cut the rate. All right. So so far the money market fund return uh, is around five point five percent per annum basis. Okay. So having said that, the interest uh, is five point five also. The interest. So if one day the interest keep going down to for example two percent, okay. Then the money market fund return will also reduce. Uh. Of course, they will reduce slowly. Uh. Maybe they go down by 3% first, and then followed by 2%. Right? Then, of course, what will happen? What will happen? People who are investing in the money market fund, they might think, oh, if the return is so little, then they will prefer to put the money in the stock market. So when the interest rate begin to going down lower and the money market fund return is lower, this money will begin to flow into the stock market. So what does that mean? That means uh, the bull run is just begin. Oh, so you have a lot of potential in the US stock market, right? So next, we take a look the big picture index performance. Index performance. Go index. Oops. Straight time index. Right, so straight time index does rebound after touching the support level, right? So, Sanger Singchi, we have talked about, oh, you remember? So, Haiti, the what? Um, he went down after, um, he is resting in this strength level. All right, so that's one thousand one hundred and ten points. Then after that, he starts to rebound. All right, so. 它就是告诉我们说银行是在跑很明显 So that means uh, when SDI index rebound uh, that means the, the Singapore bank is rebound uh, okay, It's very obvious And where's the resistance? The resistance is somewhere around here 3200 左右 okay, 3200 左右 right? So it's like moving in the ascending triangle Is it? Ascending triangle right? So bank is moving up after resting for a while. Bank is moving up after resting for a while. Just like what I had mentioned on last week. Okay. And SP 500. SP 500. Right. So SP 500 is still very strong. New high. So it's Okay. After another Federal Reserve uh, meeting. Okay, so so on, he just starts to move up, right? So, the market is still there. So, um, this is what we call a a lockout rally, right? The market didn't drop, but it keep moving up. Or maybe they drop two day or three day, then the rest uh moving up, right? So, um, is very strong. It's still strong. There's no sign of selling. So that means the stock that you are buying or the stock that I'm buying, I'm still holding, alright. So there's no um, sign of selling yet. And next step, 100. So it's still bullish, right? And like what I mentioned to you, it looked like it began to move in a sideway also. So this is the next step. It looked like it began to move in a sideway. Right, but doesn't matter because there's no sign of selling also. So we are still holding. Right? There's no sign of selling, means we are still holding. Alright. So for now, we are still holding for now. Okay. So this is Tong Si Sui Si Do Kai Pin the Chuzi Bu So 
观点没有改变。但是如果接下来这几天他有在吃大跌的话，连我的观点就会改。So it's、uh, what we call that the flexibility, alright. So what I do is based on mid term. Most of the time, my position is a mid term. So if you manage to buy a stock for a long time ago, actually you don't need to worry much, alright. 所以很多人呃就会问我，哎呀，股票跌的时候应该卖吗？那我就会问他，你买的时候是什么时候，在什么价位？就比如说很多人他说啊，他在这个 COVID 的时候买到这个新加坡银行，那我就祝福他了，就不需要卖吗？哦，但是如果是呃，就是说有时候股票就是这样，它有时候会休息，有时候会大跌。在短期内，它是会波动很大。但是如果你是在疫情的时候买的股票，你就不用去看它了。尤其是银行啊，新加坡银行哦，所、so、以你就收住拿股息咯，明白吗 ？All right. And Hang Seng Index, right? So what happened to Hang Seng Index? Hang Seng Index actually move, look like recovering. Okay, can you see that? Because there is no new low. Okay, there's no new low, and they are moving up. Okay, in、uh, what we call it in、uh, ascending directions. So it show that the buyer are willing to pay higher price. Ah,、uh, okay, for the stock market, and they are moving in the channel also. All right. So currently, it near support level. Okay. But one day, if the price break below the trend line, then of course I can change my view, lah. Okay, but so far, uh, so far so good. Okay, they keep moving up slowly, and there's no uh sign of uh selling yet. Okay, right. So look like recovery. Okay, it's quite quite obvious, lah. Right, and then the price also break above the trend line. Ah,、uh, the the price also break above the downtrend line. Right, so this is crucial. Whenever we want to identify um the recovery of the stock market, right. So this is the index. So summarize is SPI rebound. Ah,、uh, sorry. SDI, yeah, correct. SDI is rebound. Hong Kong is Hong Kong is recovering for now, lah. No, for now. Anything can change, ah,、huh? right? And S and P and Nasdaq, Nasdaq is strong. Okay, I will call it super strong. Right, momentum. Okay, then we call it. So they are what we call that strategy called buy high, sell high. Right, what does that mean? So, keep buy and sell. So buy high, sell high is not, uh, suitable to everyone, right? Because some people they prefer to buy pull back, but if the stock didn't pull back, how are you going to buy? So that's why the professional trader, they will buy after the breakout. So they keep buying higher, keep buying higher. So that is that is a dangerous, um,、uh, um, what we call that, buy high, sell high. Um, it's considered a dangerous. A、uh, strategy because when the price you know crash down right, it also crash down very fast. So I believe the professional trader they know what they are doing, they know when to cut loss and they know when to sell. But for normal retail investor, my worry is that because they are too slow to react. You 明白吗 So 有时候散户哦，你要买高卖高的话，你很难做得到。为什么呢？因为呃，人是需要时间。Oh, to think. Okay, um, human beings, you know, need time to warm up. Okay, warm up. All right. So this for normal human being, but for professional trader, their action is very fast. One. 
right? So that's why they are willing to take risks to buy high and sell high, all right? So that is my view for this uh, STI index, Hong Kong and US, right? So what else, all right? So mastering price action costs, just to take this time to share this with you, all right? For those of you who are new, just want to share with you, um, mastering price action, if you want to learn how I do things, okay? Or if you want to, um, you know, what we call that, do the same thing like what I am doing, all right? I'm willing to transfer the skill set to you. Then this is, you know, suitable for you, all right? Core Mastering Pride Actions. Currently, the grant is up to 70%. Remaining 30%, you can claim using the skill future. And you have to understand if you go outside or if you want to attend other class, you have to pay by yourself three to four thousand dollars cash. But in here, you can get the subsidy up to 70% remaining can claim 30%. So where does this money come from? The money actually come from the taxpayer, including yourself, taxpayer, your family member, your husband, or maybe your wife, or your loved one, or your you know, colleague, everyone who pay the tax. Actually, the tax was channeled into this program. So that means uh, it's very obvious. The, the money is actually giving it to you, all right? Just that you need to register for the class to enjoy this program. A lot of people, you know, they don't know uh, how does this thing come about. It's actually come from the taxpayer money, including yourself, right? So do take this time, take action to sign up for the class. Um, what is the stock that I am looking at right now? Okay. So now we look at the stock. 我们先看银行, right. So the bank stock, um, last two weeks I did mention, all right. If the price can break out, then the momentum will continue. So the truth is that once it's break out, the price continue to move up. Once it's break out, the price continue to move up, move up. So DBS is considered a new high right now. Oh, since it's a new high. Right. So the base was here. So do you buy now? Normally we don't buy now when the price spiked up already. Normally you buy somewhere around here when the price is consolidating. Right? So, um, um, depend on your time frame, right? Depend on your time frame. Okay. So, what else? UOB. So, UOB rebound as well, right? So, again, the resistance is somewhere around 29, 37. So, having said that, uh, DBS is stronger than the UOB. Uh, am I correct? Because um DBS breakout, okay DBS breakout, and followed by um OCBC. OCBC also breakout, okay OCBC also breakout because previously I was expecting um OCBC to pull back until here twelve dollars seventy five but it didn't it continued to breakout so that means very strong also, alright. I think it's new high. Congratulations if you buy uh, the bank, right? If you buy the bank. So you can see that uh, during my interview previously with the 958, I always emphasize the banks. Uh, oh? Right. So um yeah, so far so good. The bank stock and then the Frankens still good, 
right? I think it was influenced by the US market. Uptrend still intact. Okay, uptrend is still intact, right? There is no sign of selling yet. And followed by uh, UMS. So UMS is a big week. No? UMS the what? You eat tian tian. Uh, rock. Alright, but the price is near the support level also. Okay, the price is near the support level. Okay, so I expect expecting it to rebound. Look like today rebound is it? Yeah, look like the price rebound. So where's the resistance? Resistance is somewhere around one dollar fifty cent. Okay, so it's the two lead is about one point five to one point three. So these are. Electronic Yang Zijiang, we look at Yang Zijiang. Yang Zijiang is still pretty strong. Right, so recently they drop around ten percent, and then after that they rebound back again. Right. So at that time, he gave us one percent. That time, I was scared. Right, I was scared. Look, it is too strong. It will rebound back again. Right. So that means along the way you can take profit lah. Oh, if not lah, if they crash down ah, ten percent lah, then you become panic, right? And one more thing I want to share this with you is very crucial. Is right when the S M I index is reach one hundred percent. Oh, 你看下面这个啊，这个 Smart Money Index 哦。蓝色的八 hit one hundred percent. That means ah, the price is over bought and time to take profit, right? The time, the price is over bought and time to take profit, right? So the smart money index, when the smart money index reach one hundred percent, it actually telling us to take some profit. It actually tell us to take some profit, right? So indeed, it was happening. After that, the price, you know, profit taking around ten percent, profit taking around ten percent, right? And therefore, um, it actually give us some idea lah when to sell or when to take profit, right? And 还有什么股吗 ？Okay, 你们看什么股 ？What stock you are? Uh, Philip. Later, we will share with you. Uh, the date and time of the course. Yeah. Citrium price chart. Citrium. I never buy citrium. All right. Citrium is like a scam stock. Okay. 所以你们要明白一个东西，就是说，我每次跟你们讲的，不要买下降趋势的股票，这个后果不堪设想。哦、oh? ，So every time I remind you, don't buy the downtrend stock, right? So you see what happened now? 很多人被套牢了，你明白吗 ？So I don't want to talk about this stock too much, wasting time, right? Because I already teach you in the class. Don't buy the downtrend stock. Okay, don't buy. So this is the consequences. Okay, ma. So, 还是有人问我，有可能你们、你、你们还没有上课哦。趁这个机会上课 ，OK， 做不一样的东西才能赚钱，明白吗 ？Capital, capital still good. So capital is still good, actually. Right, so it keep moving up, and it look like the price. So the price is ah,、uh, I mean the stock price is still considered uptrend, okay, but it a bit volatile. I think it has a chance to going up further, okay. I think. 
So the resistance is somewhere around 7.38. Resistance is somewhere around 7.38. Right? Uptrend is still intact. With the support of the trend line. SIA IFAS. Take a look, IFAS. How do you think about IFAS? IFAS, yes, downtrend. Will there be bound? Don't know yet. Jingtian, you fantasma, Jingtian, you fantasma. Wait. So, how do you think about this stock? Will there be bound? So there was a technical rebound. Okay, technical rebound. All right. Because why? Because the drop is too much. Okay, the drop is too much. The drop is too much previously. And therefore, um, I'm not sure the recent rebound will be sustainable. Huh? But anyway, if they does rebound, then the resistance is somewhere $7.20. So if they continue to rebound, that means the resistance is seven dollar twenty cent. SIA. How do you think about SIA? SIA is still very weak. Okay. SIA is still very weak. Right. Will they rebound? Maybe yes or no. Right. So where is the resistance? The resistance is somewhere around six dollars sixty cent if they does rebound. There are quite a number of resistance here. Six dollar forty eight, six dollar sixty. Right. So for those of you who are new, why the price get down is because of the earning. Okay. The earning does not meet the analyst expectation. So that's why the, that's why the price kept down. All right. Marco Polo. Marco Polo is a small stock. Okay. Right. So usually um I don't recommend small stock. Okay, if you still want to trade small stock, it's your own risk, lah, Right. Um. Yeah, I don't. No comment on the small stock, lah, Okay. S A T S. S A T S continue to go down further, right? I did talk about this stock, okay, but. The entry point is based on the support level and the resistance level. Right? So, this is what you want to buy, you will buy two. Right? So, they move in a sideway. Right? They are moving in a sideway. Okay? Alright? Okay, ma, in time, ma. 哦,因為為什麼呢?因為它的歷史性數據告訴我們說,兩塊是反彈,OK?兩塊就賣出。兩塊是反彈,兩塊就賣出,很多次,OK?If okay? you compare with previous time,$2.40,rebound, hit resistance sell down, right?$2.40,rebound, $2.90,sell down, right? So now they are selling down. Will they drop until two dollar forty cent? Maybe you can consider, right? Semcorp Industry. So Semcorp Industry rebound a little bit today, correct? You right. right? Because of this bullish candlestick. So after that, the price break through and then they continue. 
So it got chance to re rebound, right? It got chance to rebound, okay? Right, because of this uh, bullish candlestick, okay? So similarly, if you notice SIA got this uh, bullish candlestick, uh, then you might want to uh, take a look, okay? This bullish candlestick, this is, this is just a uh, bullish candlestick, right? So that is mean that buyer uh, interest is coming back uh, to push up the price further. That is when you you buy them. Oh, that is when you buy. Riverstone already up. Okay, Riverstone is in a lot right? So will they continue? So the price is. I but I Right? Okay, so they break out and then after that, the price continue. Look like profit taking today. Right? So we won't buy if they break out. Okay, now we take a look at the US stock, like for example, BAC, Bank of America, so Bank of America keep going up further after the consolidations. Still uh, pretty strong, right? Still pretty strong. You see last night, a bullish candlestick, right? So buyer interest is still inside the stock and the market maker, Lupa, still available, right? And we take a look some of the stock, like for example, Apple, AAPL, How do you think APL? APL also rebound from the bottom master. Okay, resistance is 180. So the support is 168. Support is 168. The support is 180. Right? Google, GOG. Google, after bottom muscle signal, bottom muscle signal is quite consistent, then it begins to rebound and gap up. So it's still, it's very volatile, huh? Google. So Google, usually you buy when it pull back. When it rebound, you don't buy. Alright, because why? Because the, the chart shows us that every time it pull back, you buy, huh? is the right way. Huh? Pull back, you buy is the right way. If they go up ready, you don't buy. Go up ready, don't buy. Okay, ma. AMZN. Okay, AMZN is still strong. Okay. Look like sideway. Right. So sideway, what will happen? Sideway can have two scenario. Break out or break down. But look like it got higher chance to break out. Look like it got higher chance to break out. Okay. So a stock that um a mega cap that um that is uh what we call that that most of the people are looking at. NVIDIA, maybe Meta first. So Meta after gap up support level 1481. Okay, now high price five hundred and five dollar. Five hundred and five dollar. So I think it will continue to go up, okay, based on the current market situations. So if the market is coming, the market is always rising. The market is always rising. Nvidia, Nvidia, although it's expensive, right, but the price looks like breaking out from the symmetrical triangle. Right, so what does that mean? That means buy signal, okay? Buy signal. So that means it's a buy signal for Nvidia, alright. Although it's expensive, right? So that's why you can see, uh, they don't give you chance to buy. If you are the retail investor, you can only buy after they break higher, buy high, sell high. So Nvidia, this stock, they don't give you chance to buy. Oh, because it is always falling. So that's why um, this is a very famous company. They are very famous. 
ไม่เก่าไม่เก่า right ไม่เก่าไม่เก่า right สิงเทลสู้เฮาดิวติ้งสิงเทล How do you think about Singtel? I think better to take profit lah. <laughs> better for you to take profit. Right? It has been long time. Right? So uh, I think take some profit will be better before they. Come down, right? So it hit resistance, very obvious. So take some profit, right? What else? Uh, ma, just now the, oh, Mara. Mara is the stock that related to a uh, crypto, all right? But it's a very volatile stock, okay? So when it crash down, they crash down fifty percent, right? May not be suitable to everyone, okay? But last night got rebound. Um, yeah, just be careful, right? Because it's very volatile stock, okay? So when you are right, you make money. But when you are wrong, you will lose a lot of money. Also, can okay, ma. All right, let me see. Yeah, if we are using some bottom master, is quite accurate. Also, bottom master. Yeah. So when the price break higher, enter. Price break higher, enter. This one. Does not break higher, no enter. This one does not break higher, no enter. Right. So with the pattern, right. So each type of the pattern. So there are three system lah suitable for different type of the pattern. Bottom master, super trend, and position. Uh, position sizing. Right. Okay, we are going to talk about this. Now, um, before that, right, I uh, apologize to every one of you if I cannot, um, you know, cover cover your stocks, okay, because of the time limitations, all right. So let me share this with you. So, uh, U.S. stock, as usual, uh, semiconductor is still very strong. The tax, um. This is still in my watch list, so I buy when it pull back. Okay, so ARKK is a small cap index. High risk AI is still not moving. Okay, high risk, right? And Hong Kong, these are the stock. New Oriental still good. The EV car is not performing. Why so? Trip dot com. Okay, especially trip dot com, they move up a lot. Okay, and Petro China also move out a lot. So these are the Hong Kong stock that in my watch list, right? But unfortunately, the EV is not moving up. Okay, maybe this year is not the EV year, right? So this year is a semiconductor year. Now, um, let me share this with you. What is the retail investor problem? 很多散户他的问题出现在哪里呢？很多时候他们会看报纸太多 ，so That's why um uh, end up become emotion, then make a lot of uh, mistakes. So um another reason is because they don't have a system, they don't have a screener and no strategy. Therefore, they are losing out to other competitor. So like what I mentioned, son, okay, if I using the screener system, but you're not using, of course. I'm here to, uh, you know, in the stock market, definitely you will lose to other people. So, 很多时候，如果你没有工具的话，当然你是肯定是会很难赚钱了、啊。因为现在的
专业鼓手他们都有 system， 你没有的话 ，OK， then 就很难赚钱。The intention is that， OK， the intention is to buy together with the market maker。所以我们要跟庄家一起清场，你明白吗？所、so、以我们要跟庄家一起清场。所、so、以 we want to follow the market maker, the institutions to make money together. Because market maker and the institutions they put the money in, and of course the money is huge. Therefore the price can move. So that why we need to follow them lah. If you do not know. Uh, where the money flow into usually